everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So let's get going. Problem. Solve. x squared a squared plus x d minus 1 into y equals to x cube. So we are given a differential equation with variable equations. We are going to reduce the differential equation, this given differential equation to a differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution. And also we are given a Cauchy's equation. Solution. Given Cauchy's equation, x squared d squared plus x d minus 1 into y equal to x cube. Now put x equals to e power z, then log x to the base e equals to z for x greater than 0. Let Theta equals to d by dz, then x d equals to theta, x squared d squared equals to theta of theta minus 1. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Now, the above equation becomes, replace x squared d squared by theta of theta minus 1, plus x d by theta minus 1 into y equals to replace x by e power z, we'll get e power z whole cube. Then, Theta into theta, theta squared minus theta plus theta minus 1 into y equal to e power 3z. Right? Here minus theta plus theta gets cancelled and we'll get theta squared minus 1 into y equal to e power 3z. Which is a differential equation with constant equations. And also this equation is of operator form. f of theta into y equals to some function of z. Theta square minus 1 into y equals to e power 3z, which is in operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z, where f of theta equals to theta square minus 1. Now we need to find the general solution of the given equation, which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We need to find yc and yp. First, we will find yc using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equals to we have f of theta, theta square minus 1. Let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 1. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 1 equals to 0. We can write this 1 as 1 square and this is of a square minus b square form. We can write it as a plus b into a minus b. Now we equate each factor to 0. From m plus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to minus 1 and from m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1. Then the roots are m equals to minus 1 plus 1, which are real and distinct. Therefore, the roots are real and distinct. We know that when two roots are real and distinct, say m1 and m2 are real and distinct, then yc will be 1 constant into e power 1 root into independent variable z plus another constant into e power another root into independent variable z. Now let's write the complementary function using this formula. y c equals to c1 e power 1 root into z plus c2 into e power another root into z. Then c1 into e power minus z plus c2 into e power z is equals to. Now we need to write in terms of x because we are having y c in terms of z and we need to write in terms of z sorry in terms of x. So what we will do we will just replace e power z by x. 
In order to replace e power z by x, we need to write e power minus z as e power z power minus 1 plus c2 into e power z. Now it will be easy to replace e power z by x. We will get c1 x inverse plus c2 x. We can write x inverse as 1 by x. Then yc becomes c1 by x plus c2 x. So we got yc now. Let's find yp. Particular integral. We'll find yc using, sorry, yp using 1 by f of theta into q of z. We have f of theta and q of z. Where f of theta is theta square minus 1 and q of z is e power 3z. So this is of 1 by f of z into e power az form. Now compare e power 3z with e power az then for a equals to 3 we will find f of sorry this is theta okay. We have f of theta equals to theta square minus 1 for a will find f of a which is equal to f of 3. Replace theta by 3 we will get 3 square minus 1 is 3 square is 9 minus 1 is 8 which is non-zero. Since f of 3 is non-zero so we will replace theta by 3. We will get 1 by 3 square minus 1 into e power 3z which is equal to 1 by 9 minus 1 into e power 3z which is equal to 1 by 8 e power 3z. Now we are having yp in terms of z. We need to write in terms of x. So what we will do is we will just write e power 3z as e power z whole cube. So that we can replace e power z by x. Then we will get 1 by 8 into x cube. Just replace e power z by x then we will get x cube. Okay. This equals to x cube by 8. Okay. See always remember that the denominator must be non-zero. What happens if the denominator is 0 after replacing theta by 3? We will get 1 by 0 into e power 3z. Right. If the denominator is 0 we will get 1 by 0 into e power 3z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined. So the total term becomes undefined. But in our case the denominator is non-zero. So we can just follow the process. So we got yp which is x cubed by 3 and we have yc. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp then y equal to yc c1 by x plus c2x plus yp is x cubed by 8. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with constant sorry variable equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.